Cornell is just an amazing university because we are the land-grant university for New York State, but we're also the land-grant university to the world, really. We have over 150 researchers working on some aspect of climate change, from climate modeling to diseases and pests to new cropping systems and varieties to really communication and stakeholder engagement. And so um, we're very excited to have an exhibit there to be showcasing our research, sharing that, and we hope that that will help um, delegations and countries um, understand that there are ways that they can increase their commitments to reduce greenhouse gases and um, do that in an economically sound manner um, that's environmentally sustainable. Cornell is a very unique place. It does offer a lot. It gives the chance for us to integrate multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary action into global climate change. It gives us the action of working with undergraduates, and undergraduates are, again, future generations. So if we train the future generation right from the beginning, well, I think we are in good hands. As a land-grant institution, we are committed to sharing new knowledge with communities for compounded benefits, and we actively seek to engage partners in this process. An academic institution such as Cornell University has a unique um, opportunity to uh, contribute the science and the knowledge to the negotiations, and especially Cornell University, because it combines a private Ivy League university with a what is called a uh, um, land grant university. Uh, we have applied and fundamental science. So we are not only trying to understand how natural processes work, we also try to come up with solutions and educate the world about the opportunities to implement those solutions. Relative to what I do in climate engineering, uh, this is an incredibly interdisciplinary subject. Just you know, involves practically every discipline there is in the physical sciences and social sciences. And that plays to one of Cornell's strengths, which is the commitment to interdisciplinary research. And that's particularly true in areas like climate change because of the uh, focus that uh, the Atkinson Center can bring to this. Cornell is, is uniquely placed to contribute to climate change with the uh, conversation because there is a strong interest here uh, uh, in engaging uh, with different communities, uh, both international and locally, uh, when it comes to climate mitigation and adaptation. Uh, Cornell has taken sustainability and climate change into, uh, 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 mitigation and adaptation uh, to climate change as, as an important aspect and, and there are a number of research and, and also uh, courses going on. Uh, there are a number of professionals with, with rich experience who can contribute to this dialogue and, and also help with policy. So I think that as a resource, both human and, and also uh, uh, intellectual capital here, and, and I think that can be exploited uh, in adopting future climate change policies uh, that are helpful to uh, poor people or, or food insecure people uh, and, and climate. Uh, people who are challenged by climate change uh, uh, and the side effects of climate change. Well, one of the things that is most impressive about uh, what's going on at Cornell is the way in which the various departments interact. So I have, upon getting here, I realized that some of the best climate scientists are here at Cornell. Uh, um, and being a, an environmental lawyer who's concerned about policy making, I recognize that one of the things it offers my students, both law students and then students, graduate students from other departments who've taken my class, uh, is a chance to work with, with people who are concretely addressing the issue of climate as well as, as um, continue to explore the more theoretical issues. But I think what, what the, the special thing that Cornell brings is the... Uh, the free exchange of ideas. I think the Atkinson Center is a critical, critical link in that uh, conversation. And it's been uh, really important in drawing voices from across the university and making me aware, for example, of research that's going on that if I'd stayed here cloistered in law school, I would not have been aware of. When, you know, I can just walk across campus and talk to people in the, uh, on the ag campus who are doing you know, work which is going to have a direct impact on my future, my children's future, 
and I hope policy going forward. So it's that interchange that, that it's, it's, it's a crucible where a lot of work is being done and a lot of work is being exchanged. That I think a lot of universities don't have. This has been a production of Cornell University on the web at cornell.edu.